In this video, you'll learn how to use distributed rendering when working with Premiere and After Effects in a LucidLink file space. We will leverage the watch folder feature of Adobe Media Encoder to scan a file space directory and pick up project files for submission to an encoding job queue. I'm a remote editor finishing up a proxy edit on my laptop using Adobe Premiere inside a LucidLink file space. Now I will toggle over to the Hi-Res Media, which is 12K Blackmagic RAW. At this point, I could export on my laptop, and the Hi-Res Media would read directly from the LucidLink file space as the render progresses. While this works perfectly, I'm going to have to wait for the render to finish before I can work on anything new in Premiere. What if you didn't have to wait? Leveraging LucidLink means the same data is accessible from anywhere. Since this system is connected to the same file space that Steven is working in, I will configure the AME watch folder there so that it will pick up project files as Steven saves them. So instead of rendering on my laptop, I could simply save a copy of my Premiere Pro project file into the watch folder that David set up. See how the render machine automatically picks up the project that Steven saved into the watch folder and begins processing the batch. You can attach multiple output presets to a watch folder. In this case, I have specified an H.265 MP4. He can even see the output files beginning to appear in the Finder window. While the render workstation is doing its work, my laptop is completely free. I am now able to start my next edit or disconnect entirely. This process also works for After Effects comps and can be accessed by multiple individuals on your team. As different users add projects or comps to the watch folder, the render station adds them to the queue and renders them in the order they arrived. While I'm demonstrating distributed rendering on a physical workstation, this can also be set up on a cloud VM, giving you even more flexibility in how you can deploy it. Another potential benefit of this workflow is that I can work as a remote editor on proxy media even when I don't have access to the high res When I open this Premiere project, you'll see the high res media is not accessible to me. If I click Cancel, I am still able to edit from the proxies. Since Media Encoder knows to read from the high res automatically, I can still drop my project file into the watch folder, and since David's workstation does have access to the high res it will encode from the high res when processing the job. This has a potential security benefit as you can hire freelancers and have them edit with watermark proxies without giving them access to the original camera files. Distributed rendering is a great way to leverage the global accessibility provided by LucidLink file spaces to save time, increase efficiency, and improve security. Be sure to check out our other videos for more workflow tips.